Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous session, we have learned about the numeric and also the percentage sizing units. We have learned it. Now, for the numeric value, for example, we have given for the U. So we have given in such a way that line height is one. So we are able to understand that what is this one or 1.5. It will recognize about the font size. So whatever the font size is there, it will take 150% of that font size. Now, for example, if you attach any unit to that one, so if you attach any unit like EM or centimeters or millimeters like this, we will be having different types of units, right? Here you will be able to see the different types of units which are having, which are supported. So if you attach this unit, then it will become a dimension. So lengths are dimensions that refer to a distance. So these can be either relative or absolute. So these type of units, so we can assume that either it can be absolute or relative. So there are absolute lengths and also the relative lengths. So let's say that absolute length means, so absolute length means, so what I can say is these type of lengths will be more predictable. So we can predict the actual length of that one. So whenever you use in the CSS, so always these absolute lengths remain the same. They can be predictable. For example, if you use centimeters to size your element, so then for example, let's say that here we this is our due, right? So we can give border of one pixel solid red, and here if I give one uh, ten centimeters and height of five centimeters, so this type of width and height is all may is always it will be a predictable only. If I try to see it here, so this is the <coughs> box of width and height. It will be a rectangle shape. So if you try to see if you try to uh, uh, measure it with a ruler so it will be accurately 10 centimeters by 5 centimeters so these are all predicted ones so there are different types of absolute lengths which are supported in the css so one is nothing but what i can say some of them let's try to mention it some of them i will open it here so first one is the centimeters so this is the centimeters i can say it so another one is the millimeters so mm and another one is Q, quarter millimeter, inches, so inches also it is supported, PCAS, so PC, points, so we can say you can denote it with the PT, so last one is the pixel, so these are all absolute length, so we can determine, we can predict the length of this sizes, so the next one, another one comes the relative length, so relative length is calculated against a base value like a percentage, just as how the percentage works we have seen it with the parent right so like this it, this relative length also works along with the parent thing the difference between these and the percentage is that you can contextually size elements so like this we can con contextually size the elements so font size relative parts let's try to say what are the different types of relative lengths which are supported so em relative to the font size that is 1.5 em means 50 percent larger than the base font size i will try to show you that one so we will be having something like ch character width so like this rem so these are all relative lengths so we will be having another one is lh lh means line height of the element so another one is the last one is the rlh so this one is the line height of the root element just like em and the rem how it will works so lh and rlh works with the line height of the root element so this one works with the font size of this one so font size of this parent element and font size of this root element and this is the line height of the element and line line height of the root element most of the times you'll be using em and the rem only so let's try to see how the em and the rem works let's try to see it. for example let's say that we are having a development okay i will try to take font size of okay so here i'll be having font size of 1 em so if i try to keep font size of 1 em then 1 em means here <clears throat> it will take the parent font size parent font size the parent font size will be body html like that so here the parent font size will be always 16 pixel so 1 em reference refers to always 16 pixel now if i try to keep 2 em here so then the font size will become in a such a way that 16 into 2 so the double the font size will become so 32 pixel it will become so that means according to the parent font size this em will be denoted so the base font size of this html or this root element is a 16 pixel if you try to mention it as 1 em then it will become the 
16 pixel if you take this 2a means double the 16 pixel that is nothing but 32 pixel for example let's say that here we are having 1.5 em so that means it will be around 24 pixel or something like this if i try to see here it is 24 pixel fine so in the div we are having a p element right for this p element what i will try to do so i will try to have something like font size of 2em let's say show so now for this one parent for this pa paragraph element the parent is div element div element is having a font size of 1.5 em that is nothing but 24 pixel so the parent font size is 24 pixel and now we are say saying that whatever the parent element you are having take the double size of that parent we are trying to say so then it will be around 48 pixel if you try to see if i try to show you the output see here if i try to observe here so let's refresh this one and the font size for this one will be 48 pixel why this one 48 pixel it is having for this parent element the div element we are saying that 1.5 vm of the root element we are saying so of this parent element you take the 1.5 vm so that means nothing but 16 16 pixel into 1.5 that is 24 pixel and inside this div element we are having a paragraph element and we are saying that it should take the 2 am 2 am means for this paragraph for this paragraph element the root element is uh, sorry the parent element is the div element which is having 24 pixel and we are taking double the 24 pixel means it should be 48 pixel so like this actually the pair uh, the ems concept will work so it will refer to the base parent it will refer to the parent element and it will act according to that one for example let's say that so this one is having the 1.5 vm and for some reasons i want to take the base font size so that is nothing but a 16 pixel so if you want to take the base font size means then you need to mention it as one rem so then whatever may be the parent font size it will be it will take the root element font size so that is nothing but 16 pixel if you try to see here font size so this one will be 16 pixel why because the root element is having the font size of 16 pixel so that is the difference between em and the rem so this is one of the main important concept which we should be remembering about how the em and the rem works so here em means uh, em means it will take the base parent font size according to the relative to the parent font size it will behave <clears throat> and the another one and the another type of sizing units which we comes into handy things is nothing but viewport width and viewport height okay so viewport width means this is nothing but it will take the total browser for browsers window viewport width it will take it viewport height means browsers height viewport height it will take it so like this we will be having different types of sizing units so these are also relative to the browser window window width and height it will behave it so these are all about the different sizes so here the one of the most important thing which you need to understand is the difference between em and the rem so that is the most important thing which you need to understand it hope you understood about this font sizing sizing units if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you